Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and this Tech Tuesday we're jumping back into our Force Induction series, and I'm actually going to be hosting it because I'm interviewing Bob about the tuning requirements for Force Induction, and we're actually going to be doing a lot of different tests with different types of fuels so you can figure out exactly what's best for Force Induction. If you have not seen our previous Force Induction videos, go check out our YouTube playlist and you can get caught up to where we are currently. All right, Bob, so we're gonna be doing these tests, but what car are we gonna be doing these tests on? Okay, so we have a uh, 2016 mm -hmm. uh, C7 Corvette. All right. Uh, it has a Vortec V3 supercharger. It's a good candidate right there. Absolutely. Uh, it has a uh, healthy cam, you know, supercharger style cam. Sure. It also has uh, exhaust, you know, headers. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's pretty much it. So it's like a mild bolt-ons uh, with a supercharger Absolutely. C7 Corvette. And this is this is the C7, not like the Z06. Like nope. this didn't come with the supercharger. No, it's, it's a Z51, the, it's the, but yeah, it's not a... It's yeah. the LT1 motor. Correct. It's nothing crazy like that. It's right. not the, the uh, LT4, it's the LT1. No. It's a direct injected. Okay, yeah. all right, awesome, perfect. So this is a good candidate for what we're doing. It mm -hmm. should make really awesome power. Yep. Now we're also going to be testing a lot of different fuels. So you want to kind of lay out for me what fuels we're going to test and sure. why and, and what exactly we're going to be doing. Absolutely. So we're going to be using our Mustang Dyno. Okay. And and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have the goal of consistent results back to back to back with a given fuel. Okay. So um, we're going to start out with pump gas. Awesome. And we're going to go ahead and dial the car in as safely as we can on pump gas. Okay. And by pump gas, you mean 93 octane? 93 octane. Here in Florida, we have 93. Awesome. Yeah. What I just wanted to do, make that clear because some yeah. people have 91. No, no. We have 93 here. And so what we're going to do is actually be as fair as we think we can. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if this car were to roll into the average you know, tuner shop, sure. he would have a specific fuel, uh, You know, as you see the plethora of fuels behind us that yeah. we'll be testing. And he wouldn't just use the same spark advance for each of these. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is dial in each of these for spark advance and for air fuel find the correct the best safe power they can make okay uh, and to be doing that we'll be using our plex knock monitors awesome. so we'll be able to listen for knock and actually see it on the screen as well perfect um, and we're going to do that for each of these different fuels. Okay. And like I said, our goal here uh, is to eliminate any variables that will skew our results. So we'll be doing some proper cool down between. Okay. And we'll be giving each of these uh, fuels and additives and injections uh, the best fighting chance they can have to see what can make the best power. Perfect. And we'll also talk about some of the pros and cons of each along the way. Absolutely. Because I'm sure we'll find the pros and cons oh, of each yeah. along the way. Absolutely. There's nothing that lights off an internet fire like E85 versus meth injection Absolutely. Or, or whatever else. Yeah. There's tons of them here. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So can you lay out for me really quickly what all is the fuels that we are in fact going to be testing? Okay, so we've broken it up into two categories, okay? The stuff that gets injected, okay? Whatever okay. the technical term is for that, you can make up something if you want. Okay. It's all over here. Uh, so we have methanol, we have boost juice uh, from snow, mm -hmm. and we have uh, water. So those are the three things that people commonly do inject when they have a force induction vehicle. Some sure. guys are just hardcore, I have to have water, nothing's better than water. Some guys say the boost juice is the way to go, and other guys say just straight meth injection is the way to go. So we're going to start with 93 octane pump gas, do our baselines. Mm -hmm. We're then going to go ahead and start our injection of each of these separately. Okay. And then we'll run the timing up and we'll run the air fuels until we get each of them dialed in okay. independently of one another. And we'll make the most power with those as we possibly each can. Each of those, absolutely. Okay. We're going to save those results, mm -hmm. okay, and that'll be our first batch of testing. Okay. And our second batch of testing will be what we call fuels and additives. Okay, that's everything from the boost stain on over. And what we're going to do is we'll start with 93 octane plus the boost stain, and we'll set it up so it has about the same octane as the fuels that we're testing on. So around 105 octane is what we'll set up the concentrate for on the boost stain. Okay, awesome. And then we'll drain that out and we'll run MS-103, we'll run the C9, and then of course the uh, E85, the ethanol mm -hmm. variants over here. So we have C85 from VP Racing. Okay. Uh, and then we also have stuff we actually got from the pump, which is straight up E85. Okay. Right? Awesome. We, don't, we, we will try and figure out exactly what it is with sure. some of our content sensors. And, and just for verification, because I don't think everybody knows at home, what exactly is C85? Because it's not something that's super common as of yet. No, that's basically the racing variant of E85 that okay. VP says is a standard. Okay. So, you know, whereas from the pump, your E85 may only be 70% or 88%. You really don't know. There's a lot of variation. Okay. So with VP Racing, they recognize that that's something people want to run as a fuel. So they said, let's provide it as a standard that we know is E85. Okay. So you're actually getting what's on the label. Awesome. Very yeah. cool. That sounds awesome. So on that note, we've actually gone ahead and done some baselines. So yep. we're, next, we're going to talk about what our baseline was for this Corvette on just pump gas. Absolutely. So what we have here, let's pull up our... Um, Excel spreadsheet. 
so we have everything organized properly. Uh, we've done our 93 octane testing. We've dialed in the car as best as it can get, meaning uh, we found the, the best air fuel this car liked, which was 11.9 to 12.2. Um, so that was on pump gas, 93 octane. Also, 15 degrees was the most spark advance we could run uh, before getting any real knock. Uh, so that was where I would say is the absolute safe, uh, maximum safe. Perfect. And now, how much boost was this making at the time that this test was performed? Because that does have uh, you know an effect. Yeah, seven to eight pounds. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So we're making seven to eight pounds, 15 yep. degrees. Like that's pretty decent for yeah. pump gas. And it's, it's a typical street guy's setup that yeah, you find. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And so, how much horsepower and torque did that setup make on this Mustang Dyno? Our Mustang Dyno made 574 at the wheels. Okay. And then it made 500 foot pounds. That's I mean that's pretty good. You can't absolutely. really complain about that. That's no. pretty good for. Just straight up pump gas. Straight up pump gas, no detonation. Okay. But any more, we tried 16, 17, and we got knocked. Okay. So 15 is, is All right. it. So you guys will have to stay tuned for our future videos because they're actually going to cover the different types of fuels and injections and stuff that he was talking about. But before we leave, I've got to ask, mm -hmm. which one do you think is going to make the most power? What's oh. Bob Morreale's professional oh, opinion? Man, which one's going to make the best? That's tough. If I say what I really think, it's going to skew the results. You know people are going to be it's hating true, on that. It's true. It's uh, true. I can, How about this? I'll start, I'll start with what I think. I think okay. that the MS-103 is probably going to make the best power for this car because I think that's probably what we'll get the most timing out of. Probably. That's what I think. What do you think is going to make the best power? I think there's going to be a combination of some type of injection. My opinion is the meth, straight meth, okay. will probably be it along with um, race gas and, okay. and or pump gas, you know, one of those awesome. combinations, Sure, I think will do it. But I do think there's going to be a big competition between that and the uh, E85. Well, it's going to be exciting to watch and yeah. I can't wait for the future videos. For more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on our social media pages, and as always, stay tuned.